All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 25. And in this lesson, we're gonna be using the Civ of Aristosthenes, uh, which is a great title. Uh, Aristosthenes was a mathematician and he uh, kind of invented a technique for finding prime numbers. And so while we're using the Civ of Aristosthenes, we're also gonna be reviewing uh, multiples. So we have a grid from 1 to 100, nothing magic about the fact that we chose 1 to 100. We could have chosen 0 to 99, we could have chosen 1 to 200, um, but we just have a collection of numbers. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow the process that Aristosthenes used for identifying primes. And we're going to begin by just highlighting that 1 by shading it in red, and then we're going to circle the two, and then we're going to cross off every multiple of two. And we're just going to keep going, and we're going to skip count by twos and cross off the twos. By the magic of video, I finished that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to circle the three, and we're going to cross off every multiple of three. So we're going to skip count by three, so that's three, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3. Well, it's already been crossed off. 1, 2, 3. So we're going to cross off the 9. Then 1, 2, 3 is 12. It's already been crossed off. 1, 2, 3 is 15. 1, 2, 3 is 18. 1, 2, 3 is 21. And we're going to keep going. And by the magic of video, we've finished with the 3s. And now we're going to do, we're going to, we can't circle 4 because it's already been crossed off. So we're going to circle 5. And now again, we're going to cross off every multiple of 5. This is actually pretty easy because this is just this whole column ending in 5. And the whole column ending in 0 has already been shaded in. So the 5s was actually pretty easy. There wasn't much to um, cross off. And now we're going to circle the 7s. And we're going to count off every, uh, skip count every 7. And then we have 11. And then we have 13, well, let's see, and 11, that's kind of neat because this diagonal, 22, 33, 44, 55, those are the every 11, so we're done there. And so now we can circle 13. Now, each of these numbers that we're circling is a prime number. So the primes are the numbers that we're circling. So 2 is prime, 3 is prime, 5 is prime, 7, 11, 13, and so let's do 13. We're going to circle 13 and then cross off every 13. And then lastly, we're going to circle 17 and count off every 17 and cross off every 17. And so what we have left over are all the prime numbers. So what we have here are primes. So these are the remaining numbers that are prime. Now, I haven't quite finished... I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit, but I believe these are all the prime numbers because we circle it and then we cross off every multiple. For example, we crossed off the 23, I mean we circle the 23, and then we count 23, which gives us to 46, and then we count 23, which brings us to 69, and then we count 23, which brings us to 92, and we cross them off if they're not already crossed off. So basically, it leaves all of these dot, dot, dot over here. See how I'm doing dot, dot, dot. So everything that's been circled is a prime number. So what do all the numbers that are crossed off have in common? Well, they're composite. They are not prime. What do all the circles, the circled numbers have in common? Well, they're prime. And then the one that is neither crossed out nor circled, that's the... 1 right here. Why is it treated differently? Well, it's treated differently because it's neither prime, a circle, nor composite crossed off. Um, 1 is neither prime nor composite, and so it has to be treated differently. Because remember, what did we do to find all the... What did we do? We circled the number, like we circled the prime number, and then we counted multiples of that prime number, for example, 2. So we circled the 2, and then we crossed off every 2. 
So we crossed off the 4, we crossed off the 6, crossed off the 8. Now if, if we treated 1 as a prime number and circled the 1, then we would cross off every skip counting of 1. We would cross off every single number. So 1 cannot be prime, otherwise it would cross off everything, and it's certainly not composite because it didn't get crossed off by any prime numbers. So it's neither prime nor composite. So that wraps up um, fourth grade module uh, three, lesson 25. And the idea is exploring primes and composites. And we're also reviewing the concepts of multiples, which is essentially skip counting from some sort of starting prime number in this case.